Hi everybody, welcome to my sewing channel. I am Cynthia and today is Friday Sews. So what I have for you today is actually a mini pattern haul and a mini fabric haul. So um, please, you know, please stay tuned and join me with it. Um, I haven't been doing too much shopping this year, but I've been going to Joann's sporadically um, buying a little bit here, buying a little bit there. I have talked about some of the fabrics that I've bought. I bought flannel for my daughter's um, pajama pants and for one daughter, and I bought fabric flannel for my daughter's pajama shorts. I've bought stuff for me to make for um, the Cherry Blossom Festival, which is coming up at the end of this month. And I also bought some patterns that were on sale. Um, I've talked about these items, but I never actually showed it to you. So I figured might as well do that for today. <laughs> so first what I have is some fabric that I recently bought. I bought all of these have been washed, as you can tell from some of them have very a lot of fraying going on. Well, this is a nice Christmas one. It was a plain cotton, you know, like a regular quilter's cotton. It's only about a yard of fabric. Sometimes I have to stop doing this. I go to the Renmint section, and a lot of times I like to get Renmints of knits because I really like doing raglan style tops. And really, I only need like maybe a half a yard or three quarters of a yard of a knit in order to make the sleeves. But when I buy like these quilters cotton that is just so cute, I don't know what to do with it. <laughs> I don't quilt anymore. When I used to be a quilter, I would buy cotton woven remnants all the time and, and that would be fine. But this is only a yard, so I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do with it. But it is March and this is Christmas, so I do have some time to think about it. <laughs> so that's what I shall do. <laughs> Same thing with, well, this one I have a plan. Okay, this is a, a Christmas knit, and I bought it because of this. Penguins. My oldest daughter loves, loves, loves penguins. This is a four-way stretch. It's like a stable knit. Um, it's a cotton lycra. I believe it's from the Pop Collection of Joann's. I only have a yard of it because this is more than enough to make her a long sleeve either a long sleeve t-shirt or I might make her like a raglan. This would be more than enough for a raglan shirt, um, especially since the sleeves are a different color. And she gets cold a lot. She doesn't wear too many short sleeve tops. So I just had to buy it. So I naturally will be saving that for when it gets closer to Christmas or when the weather starts getting cooler, which will be a while. <laughs> then when I saw this, I saw this in the clearance bin, but it was still kind of expensive because I think this is, this is not a snuggle flannel. It's like an organic cotton flannel. Let me, I just, I'm just looking for the selvage. Okay. No, I don't, I don't see it anywhere. Oh, here it is. It's Magic Moon brand flannel from Joann's. When I saw it with Aliens, okay, this is a a directional print <laughs> when I saw the aliens on it I just thought of my daughter they're in high school and I don't know for a lot of for a lot of kids in her high school they wear pajama bottoms to school every day I guess that's like the new style please comment down below if your high schooler is also doing that like when I go to pick them up I see so many kids wearing the plaid pajama bottoms plaid pajama bottoms and crocs so my daughter has gone to school in her flannel pajama bottoms or her fleece flannel you know fleece pajama bottoms or whatever so i figured this would be cute for her to wear the little aliens and this is really really soft this is really good um, flannel even on clearance I think I still paid five dollars a yard and if you shop Joann's regularly like I do <laughs> you know that a lot of times snuggle brand fabric from Joann's could be on sale for like a dollar ninety nine or even um, I don't know the other the other brand that's the solid it's not snuggle it's like cozy something I don't know but when they have their flannels on sale you can do really well with that but since this is magic moon it's like an organic cotton i believe 
it's really soft so this was five dollars a yard so i got enough for her pajama um pants with that <clears throat> and then i know i talked about this many times about my cherry blossom fabric isn't this pretty it has it's a purple background with the cherry blossoms this is i think a keepsake calico from joann's and they had it on sale i think for 6.99 a yard originally like i think 12.99 so it was like 6.99 a yard so i bought three and a half yards of this to make most likely a lyric dress from love notions that is my all-time favorite dress i print it out i print out the pattern i make it straight as the pattern no alterations no changes no anything and it fits every time so that is definitely my go-to now i don't think i share this with you i bought this after christmas i bought some christmas fabric what i've seen a lot of people do and um on youtube and on like tiktok is that may they make uh christmas fabric bags so I thought that would be great to do for my family for next year. What I'm going to do is I'm going, I bought Christmas fabric. This is for my middle daughter. I'm going to make uh, the biggest, I bought about a yard, a yard and a half. So I'm going to make the biggest bag I can make out of this, put a, maybe a drawstring top and all her Christmas gifts will be in this bag. So we don't have to buy wrapping paper anymore, have a big mess, you know, Christmas morning, with all the wrapping of paper. Ooh, wait, it's gonna fall. Something's gonna fall. <laughs> I have like a little balancing act going on over here. Okay, give me one moment. We are going to have an avalanche happening soon. Okay, I think I think we're stable. <laughs> this is why I have to stop buying fabric. I know I do. It is a problem. I can't help it. I just love, I love pretties. So then naturally this one here is for my eldest daughter. She likes penguins. Now this is probably not that Christmassy. It was in the Christmas collection or the, the Christmas one, but it is just like a family of penguins. So that is adorable. And then for my youngest daughter, let me actually get it one moment. Some of you have been with me for a while, would not remember this fabric here. I made myself a top out of this. I made my daughter a top out of this when we went to Disney, Disney, Disney World last um, spring, last year's spring break. So since she loves Stitch and I have plenty of this left over since I bought a whole bolt from my favorite fabric warehouse, I am going to make my daughter her um, Christmas bag at a stitch. So everyone picked their own Christmas fabric, well, fabric for their Christmas bag. So it'll be easily identifiable and hopefully not having wrapping paper or tissue paper or buying bags will help save the planet a little bit. If you, everyone does a little bit, it makes a big difference. <laughs> so that is my contribution this year for that. And I may also do, I do have a lot of little Christmas pieces, so I might actually do that for extended family. And then maybe either let them keep the, the bag or maybe give it back to me so that I can, um, you know, do it again next year and reuse it. Then I also visited a few pattern sales. As some of you know, I do not need any more patterns, but sometimes I can't I can't stop myself from at least looking and I know that some of the big four patterns are now making extended plus sizes which really helps because I'm not I don't know I, I sometimes have a hard time fitting I don't fit in the regular sizes like up to 22 or whatever I need the ones with the W on it the extended sizes and then those sizes come I think from usually a 22 maybe up to a 24 or 26 and depending on the garment sometimes i still can't even fit into that that's why i like indie patterns because they come in all sizes but i found this simplicity one oh it's the it's the display 
So let me see if I can find. Okay, so it is. Oh, and it's a. Oh, it's ninety seven oh four. That is the catalog number, and I thought that was real pretty. And this one comes in the extended sizes. I think up to. Ooh, up to a 38 this one's a 30 to a 38 so that is excellent I don't know where I fit in on this one I haven't measured myself I just grabbed it because I thought it was cute and I know I don't always fit into the other sizes so hopefully my size is in this range thought this was really cute and then I bought some costume ones this is for I bought this one for my daughter oh this is another let me just get it this is another one of the displays so their number they do special numbers for displays for some reason so let me see so this is an 8224 McCall's and I thought this was really cute I mainly bought it for that skirt I thought my daughter, my middle daughter, would like that. She likes a lot of girly stuff. And also, oh, is this all the pieces are in here? Yes, the pieces are in here. It has like three jackets. It has three jackets, two skirts, two pairs of pants. Um, I'm not exactly sure what F is. Oh, F, F is this skirt. So it has this skirt and that skirt. It has the pants. It has like three different kinds of jackets. They're only showing two there. And then it has like a little bustier. So that was really good. Naturally, I got all these patterns when they were on sale for $1.99. Joann's is really good at that, having um, pattern sales like twice a month. Like Simplicity would be one weekend. McCall's would be another weekend. And sometimes Butterick is another weekend. The only ones they, that they don't have on sale too often is Berta, but I've never, I don't think I've, I have a few Berta patterns, but I have not sewn any Berta patterns. So, and this one here, I bought this one for the shorts. I think I have this pattern, but not in the extended sizes. Like this one is the extended sizes from 26W to 32W. So that's kind of my problem problem area is this one here. I have a hard time fitting. I've only made myself I made myself a pair of shorts from Love Notions that I think maybe two from Love Notions that did not come out. One you actually saw me in. <laughs> it was my last year's Vlogmas, not the not Christmas that just passed, but the one before that. They came out awful. But I think it was a lot of it had to do with the fabric that I used. It was a silky polyester. It was a bottom weight fabric, but it wasn't good for those shorts. And then the the, the other one I did, you guys didn't even see because it was too embarrassing to show on YouTube. Mistakes happen. <laughs> I will tell you about them, but you won't not you won't necessarily see it depending on the severity of the mess up that I made. <laughs> Some are just not not post not made for the internet so i hope actually to do these shorts maybe this year i do have some more some bottom weight twill that i think that would look really cute in i like it i like and also they have um capris too capris are also good so that is all i have with my mini stuff just fell. <laughs> one day my hope is to have this room organized that is my dream to have one day <laughs> so thank you for joining me today please let me know if you have any of the fabrics or the patterns that i posted to see if you you know if you've made them and how successful you were and please give this video a thumbs up if you like it please subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the reveals of the items i made because you, once i make them i will definitely share them with you so thank you for joining me today. I hope where you are, the sun is shining. I hope where your family is healthy. And I hope you have time to be creative every day, even if it's just for a little bit. Thank you for spending your time with me. Bye.